Hey, what's going on everybody? EXO coming at you here with another installment, finally right, of the 50,000 watt tear down, rebuild the whole kit and caboodle. We're gonna be tackling a number of different things in this video, but before we get going, I kinda just wanted to come at you one on one and just, I don't know, share you with you some of my thoughts and frustrations that I've been dealing with as of late. Now, a lot of it has to do with video production editing. The whole, you know, process of bringing you guys this material in a new way. Well, I've torn out batteries before, put batteries in, vice versa, amplifiers, the whole lot. I wanted to make these uh, series of videos a little bit different and in doing so, it's making me so frustrated with how to execute uh, the bit by bit. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you some of the things that I want to do and some of the things that we may do instead. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and start tearing out the rest of the stuff from Frankenstein because that's the only thing stopping us from doing the rebuild. We just need to put it behind us and get all the rest of the gear out. One of the biggest areas of confusion would have to be all this right here because I really want to do something special with it all because I don't know if you know this or not, but I'm pretty famous on the channel for having conversations with myself. So I was really hoping to have a little- No, no, I'm right here. Let's have a conversation. Well, well, you know, I really wanted to have a little slightly longer conversation. Well then, let's just keep it simple instead. I'm sure people will understand. Well, that's what I'm trying to tell them. Another something that I had planned was actually making all of these nuts and bolts unscrew themselves by this cool little special effect. But in doing so, I would have had to have the camera in one spot and then redo all the connections to do just another angle. So I just said, you know what, scratch all the extra work. Let's just get these guys what they really want. They just wanna see this thing torn apart. Another cool idea I had was having everything gradually disappear. Each battery disappear and each amplifier disappear one by one. But in order to do that, I would ruin any other shot I would have because it would have to be a singular one-on-one -on -one shot. So I'm gonna scratch that idea. It would add 10 times more work just to put everything back in for the other shots. It just doesn't make sense. And if you're interested on a full in-depth installation video, we put in a lot of effort into that one video where all of these were finally installed. And I believe that was the same video where we hit our first 160 decibels. I was thrilled. So with all that said, I think it just may help me feel a little bit better about missing out on some of those cool little special effects that I wanted to take advantage of with this teardown. But I can't waste any more time. We need to get this show on the road. Oh boy, moving right along here. My freaking fingers are all pruned up from being in the gloves for so long. It took us about 10 minutes to get the negative bus bar removed. All of the stainless steel hardware sitting right here. So now we can finally switch gears into the mounting point for our JY lithium power cells. Those little green little beans you saw in the previous clip. And it's only connected by a few odds and ends, couple little bolts here and there. And then we'll be able to rip that out, access the positive of our bus bar, and these AGMs are well on their way out of here too. Are gutted and I'm getting it right in the feels. 
Oh boy, I'll never forget how much happiness came my way when those things got delivered on a huge pallet with like a freaking semi truck doing heel clicks in my driveway. And here we are freaking all these years later, switching out the APLs, or APLs, HPLs for all lithium. We're gonna have so much power back here with the classic green and red wires, but we're gonna be changing up a little bit, a couple things here and there, but we have got to get this out so we can get to sledgehammering all this crap. I can't wait to get this rebuild done. So let's focus focus our attention into our tool maker adapters. These are copper input adapters so we can have double the amount of wire going into our amplifiers to feed it all the amperage it needs. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be taking our impact and getting the amplifiers out. This stuff is gonna be breezing right along. Kicking some ass with another check in here. We just got the two amplifiers that were mounted right here out. And man, I totally forgot how hard it was mounting these amplifiers with them mounted on the MDF because of how exact it needs to be. You end up breaking your back just trying to get it in there. And I'm feeling it right now. So I'm going to get some rest tonight. Luckily, the sun's setting. Sun setting. The sun is setting. So we'll be able to resume tomorrow morning, bright and early, with the rest of these 5500s and the mids and highs set up on the other side. So I need to get myself some good rest. I will talk to you guys bright and early tomorrow morning. All right, the third amplifier is out, but oh no, I've got some bad news, guys. Looks like Mother Nature doesn't want to cooperate with us this morning. We have got some rain clouds rolling in heavy. Uh-oh, so we're gonna have to beat the storm. We got about 45 minutes left on the forecast until it starts to drizzle. So I'm gonna try to get as much of this uh, out as I can, but I'm dealing with another problem. Remember in our last teardown video of our subs, we used that little extension for our Phillips? Well, I can't find that right now and I can't get beyond the amplifier, so I can't get this little snubby inside there. So that's what I'm dealing with right now. It's somewhere in the shop. Shit! It's starting to rain! Oh no! I'm gonna get this last shot and I'm gonna have to stop. Fast forward about 20 minutes and we've got ourselves a little bit of clearing in the sky. But man, the winds are picking up big time. So in the meantime, we removed the rest of the 5500s. Holy crap, it's freaking empty back here besides a couple odds and ends, brackets, wires, some fans and fuses. For the rest of this video, I think we're gonna tackle the mids and highs amplifiers. The Symphony series, we had like 2500 watts powering our door speakers. So I'm gonna go back there, take out the crescendo mids and highs amplifiers, and then that should wrap it up for this video.
Dear God, now have you ever seen such a beautiful sight? All six, 65, 65, what the? 5500s and the three mids and highs amplifiers are finally removed, yes! Oh my gosh, I am so excited just to have them all laid out and to think there's gonna be two more of these big hefty 5500s on top of that for the upcoming build. And that's why we have to tear everything out, guys. We need to reorganize things for efficiency of space because we have so little of it. So uh, yeah, I can't wait for the next video where we start tearing off carpet and doing the really small stuff. And we'll probably start having a sledgehammer in our hands because we are doing a new shell to get as much space as possible for the eight 18s guys 50,000 watts oh my god this is crazy and I'm so glad that you guys are joining the process because it's been it's been frustrating like just you know because I have so many ideas I'm like a I'm my own worst enemy as far as creativity goes because I really want to cram as much as I can into all this all right guys until the next video this is EXO signing out feeling freaking fantastic I can't wait until the next part I'll talk to you then <laughs>